Think about your body as this beautiful instrument that you're going to nourish, clean up, create space, and tune up. And I always like to think starting at the bottoms of my feet, to the tips of my toes, to the top of my head. So come on along, follow me. We're going to start with some movement. So let's place our mat down, or if you don't have a mat, you can just use a towel. We're going to lie down on our back, so gracefully bend your knees, bring both hands to the side, and lower yourself down onto your mat. All right, palms are turned up. All right, now just bring your knees in towards your chest and begin to rock right and left. So now your hands are around the knees in front or behind. Eyes are softly closed. And it is here we'll begin deep, full belly breathing. So as you inhale, allow your belly to rise up toward the sky. Your lungs can fill up. And then as you exhale, gently squeeze your belly button in, making room for the next breath. Breathing in and breathing out. And you can widen your knees apart. That'll give your belly a little more room to rise up. If you want to stay steady, that's fine. Or I always like them rocking. So what feels better for you? As we just awaken our body first thing in the morning with this short routine or right before bed or if you have time and right before dinner or preparing dinner if you've got a family you could have everyone put the bath towels down and and do this routine so now feet to sky pose bring your hands behind your legs above or below the back of your knees flex and point your feet this is so good for our ankle joints, nourishing our ankle joints. We're also improving circulation, helping the blood flow back to the heart to pick up some fresh oxygen. Blood is what delivers the oxygen and nutrients throughout the body. We're also lengthening and strengthening the muscles in the legs. And please make sure to keep your neck in proper alignment so if you have to look at me now and again that's fine that's why it's good if your mat is sideways like this but otherwise your face is to the sky the back of your head is on your mat or towel chin is toward your belly and flex and point and if you need to be sitting in a chair that's fine breathe deep full deep breaths close your eyes yoga is a beautiful sanskrit word in english it means union Sanskrit's an ancient language. When we translate yoga into English, it means union. So let's be in union. Boy, you're starting to feel this in your ankles. Good. Knees to chest, full body extension. Deep breath in. Now keep your arms over your head. Exhale. And just breathe deep. Full deep breaths as we take a moment. Feeling the lengthening around our upper back. Be in union with your low back right now, and let's all bend our knees. Maybe this is better, feet flat on the mat for your lower back. It sure feels better for mine right now. And let's begin lying down hip rocks, going side to side. So we nourished our ankles, our lower leg muscles. Now we're moving up to the side of your thighs, the low back, your buttocks and hips, with lying down hip rocks. Just relax your toes. See, you don't have to force or strain. Sometimes being a little more easy, the body says, wow, thank you so much. And this is a daily routine that you can do each day. Just like you brush and floss your teeth, just give your body the gift of this movement. Now keep your knees to the left. Take your left ankle on the outside of the thigh. Keep your shoulders on the ground. And you see we're working our way to the upper leg, the outer thigh, the front of the hip. Breathe. Find where it's comfortable for you. And you can move around. Explore and create. 
I like to always go up and down or back and forth when I come into a pose. This is a real nice massage. And again, if it's more comfortable to have your feet apart like this, that's fine too. Just keep breathing as we nourish our bodies and then we nourish our minds. And when your body and mind feel good, then your beautiful spirit can shine and sparkle more brightly through your eyes. And two more deep breaths, two more full deep breaths, finding your unique expression in this pose and every pose. And then undo your legs and let's go side to side in lying down hip rocks. Your feet and knees are wide apart, just like windshield wipers in a car. And now keep your knees over to the right. Good, right foot on the outside of the left thigh. Reach your arms back behind you. And again, if you wanna just come up and over, keeping your left foot on the ground, this is fine. Breathe deep. It is so nice to give your body these gifts of movement, breathing, lengthening and strengthening every muscle in your body in a loving, kind, easy, compassionate way. Three more full deep breaths. And again, if you want to keep your legs uncrossed and just stay steady, that's fine. Or you could just move your feet your knees up and down so many variations or you could still be in knees to chest pose which would be fine and then undo your legs lying down hip rocks just a couple times each side i'm so happy to be sharing this is my morning or pm routine knees to chest feet to sky flex and point breathing in and out appreciating your beautiful ankles and then knees back to chest a full body extension you can never do too many of these deep breath in ah good breathe morning star a lying down twist pose bend both knees be flat on the mat cross your right leg all the way over Slide your hips to the right a little bit. Keep your shoulders on the ground and bring your knees over to the left. Turn your head right and breathe deep, everyone. This is great for the entire spine with an emphasis on the buttocks, your low back, and the middle back. Breathe deep. Morning star calms, nourishes, and strengthens our central nervous system creating a calmness, a peacefulness within that we bring into our daily activities to be calm within the activities, calm and energetic at the same time. Two more full deep breaths. Just really with your eyes closed, bringing your awareness inward, teeth unclenched, mouth gently closed let's roll our knees up uncross your legs align your spine back to center good knees to chest pose full body extension exhale arms down by your sides take a moment you can even feel the benefits are immediate your right leg is longer right shoulders more relaxed and let's come to the other side Bend both knees, feet flat on the mat, cross your left leg all the way over, and just move your hips left, and then bring your knees over to the right, where it's comfortable. And it's the side of your foot, the right foot that's on the ground, both shoulders down. Breathe, breathe deep, smile with your eyes. Just bring the corners of your mouth up towards your ears, because then your body understands that as a good thing breathe and find if you want to slide your arm up higher arch your back a little bit more remember if you want to come up and down back and forth come out of the pose come back into it just take three more full deep belly breaths breathing in and out 
Beautiful. When you're ready, you'll roll your knees up, uncross, align your spine, knees to chest, rocking right and left. And look, you can let your legs go wide apart. This feels really good. Okay, even baby's pose, arms on the insides of your feet, and you could just rock like this. Okay, keep your shoulders away from your ears. Good. This really is good for the middle back. You see, we're working our way up the spine. You can even let your tailbone lift up a little bit more, finding what's ever comfortable for you. All right, bend your knees, feet flat on the mat. Remove anything from your hair. Keep breathing, everyone. Let's lengthen the back of our neck and around the shoulder blades. So let's mountain raises from the sea. Arms by your sides, palms down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, lower down. So exhale, lift up, your feet are parallel, and bring your feet a little closer toward your buttocks so that the heels of your feet are in line with your knees. And keep your knees in towards each other as if you were holding a rolled up bath towel in between your knees or a yoga block. So you're keeping your knees parallel. You don't want them to go out, so we exhale up. Can you feel that lengthening around the neck? And your upper back, good. Three more times. Exhale up. Inhale down, good. And this is strengthening. We've lengthened the muscles around our low back and buttocks, and now we strengthen them. Strength, lengthen, create space. One more time, let's do one more. Exhale up, and lower down. Knees to chest, a little rock. All right, then just a few yoga sit-ups. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Exhale, bring your forehead up to meet your knees. Inhale, bend your knees, feet flat on the mat, arms overhead. Exhale, we'll do eight, eight or nine of these. Don't be focused too much on the counting, but it's just about eight or nine, seven, eight, nine, ten. We exhale up and we inhale down. If you want to keep your head down, because that's better for you, so sometimes I find in the morning, it's better for me to keep my head down for my neck. But this is really good. In the evening, I'm more apt to lift up, even straighten my legs, but always practice the physical aspect of yoga before eating. So in the morning before breakfast, or in the late afternoon before dinner, or before bed. This routine is good for any of those times. Let's do two more. Finding your unique expression, strengthening our digestive tract, strengthening our abdominal muscles. Full body extension. Exhale. Keep your arms over your head, and if it's better to bend your knees, that's fine, or keep your legs straight. Yoga connects us with our body, teaches us to get in touch with our bodies, to pay attention. Breathe deep. And then bring your knees in, lower your feet. Let's come to a neat sitting position and come right onto our hands and knees for child's pose. Just a few more things. So reach out. Through your fingertips, your head is relaxed all the way down. I just have my head up because I'm speaking, but you relax your head all the way down. Move your hips right and left. This is so good. Breathing. Walk your hands over to the right. Left hand on the outside of the right. Now you're really going to feel a nice lengthening around the the back of the left shoulder and the rib cage. So you see, we're focusing on the upper body. And inversion is when your head is below your heart. Breathe deep. So now all the blood is flowing to our head, to our skin, to our brain, delivering oxygen and nutrients. And move around. You can rock a little bit. If you need your knees wider, explore. Like a child experiencing something for the very first time, 
going into a toy store or seeing food. Experience your body as if for the very first time, loving and nourishing your body with breathing and movement. And it really becomes like a moving meditation. Walk your hands to the other side, right hand on the outside, on top of the left. Breathe. You can sway a little bit. Full deep breaths. Rock back and forth, breathing in and out. I always like to walk my hands as far over to the side as I can with my head down. My elbows are down. Hands, fingers, upper body to the left. And think about moving your hips to the right. Breathe in, breathe out. Coming back to center, inhale forward. So we're doing a vinyasa now. Now, strengthening the entire body. So we inhale forward and you exhale back. So we're going to inhale forward and now we can add a gentle lion's breath, exhalation out the mouth. <sighs> inhale, gentle exhalation out the mouth. <sighs> And two more. Increasing blood flow throughout the entire body. Strengthening our upper body. Lengthening the entire spine when we sit back. And let's do one more. Exhale. Stay here. Rest. Okay. Hands and knees for cat and dog. Inhale, dog. Chin up, tailbone up. Exhale, cat. Like a stretching cat or rainbow. Inhale, dog. Exhale, cat. This is good for the entire spine. And just a couple more. Let's add some gentle lion's breath for three more. One more. Inhale, rest in child's pose, breathe. Move. And now go ahead and lie down, everyone. That's it. We're going to take a couple minutes to just rest. This is a simple, easy daily routine. Relaxation. Just let your body relax for only two minutes. Eyes are softly closed. Again, if there's something you need, feel free to give yourself whatever gift of a pose. But just take a couple minutes to just be as the energy is flowing freely now in and around your body, healing, repairing, rejuvenating, revitalizing every single cell. Nowhere to go nothing to do just be the most important part relaxation just a couple minutes with this beautiful 15 16 minute routine
in the stillness, in the silence, keeping your eyes softly closed. Silently repeat these words for your body, mind, and soul. Silently say, joyful, energetic body. Joyful, energetic body. Joyful, energetic body. Loving, compassionate heart. Loving, compassionate heart. Loving, compassionate heart. Reflective, alert mind. Reflective, alert mind. Reflective alert mind. Lightness of being. Lightness of being. Lightness of being. And with your awareness at your heart center, Silently say, peace, 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 harmony, 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 laughter, 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 love, love. Love. Silent words are very powerful. These are intentions. And silently say, what I think I create, what I think I become. Peace, harmony, laughter, love. So breathing in, breathing out, moving your toes, your fingers, bend your knees. We're going to roll to our right or left side, lifting ourselves up to a seated position, bringing your palms together, hands to heart, eyes softly closed. And let's just take a moment to be very proud of ourselves for taking this time to devote to our health, our mental health, our physical health, our total well-being, bringing your fingertips toward your forehead, acknowledging your beautiful body, mind, and spirit, and then hands to heart. Take a bow to one another, wishing peace and happiness. And that is my daily routine, and I hope that you enjoyed it. You could stop here if you'd like, or we're going to join together for a seven minute meditation routine. So I'm gonna get a little closer. Stay lying down if you want. You could also stop this recording and that would be your physical routine. Otherwise, I love to meditate. I meditate every day for the past 27 years. It's so important, it's changed my life and how I look, how I feel and how I live my life. Meditation is for everyone. No matter what religion, what culture you are, it's for everyone. It's just to help with mental health. So the physical aspect that we just did, that takes care of our physical body. So the mental aspect, this helps to calm and quiet the mind. So we're going to do a full body extension, deep breath, inhale, deep breath in, lift up, and exhale. So you can be lying on the ground, sitting on a chair, sitting on the floor, right arm, right leg, just leaning right side, right arm, right leg, deep breath, inhale, exhale, other arm, other leg, reaching to the right, good. Exhale. Again, it's okay to be lying down, full body extension, deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Place your hands in your lap. Let me just move back a little bit for you to see, so you could put right, I like this, right hand and left, thumbs touching. Now softly close your eyes. 
but you can do whatever hand position is comfortable for you, but do something with your hands. If you're sitting in a chair, you could cross at the ankles. I love this mantra. Mantra just means repeated word or words. It's a Sanskrit word. Meditation is a technique, an aspect of the philosophy of yoga that helps nourish our mind, creating a peace of mind, a clarity, a sense of well-being. So this mantra is a beautiful three words to repeat. So hum, namaha, and it's a silent repetition. If this is new for you and you want to say this out loud a few times with me, so hum, namaha. So hum, namaha. I am coming back to my true self. That's the essence of this mantra. I am coming back to my true self. And your true self is that of love, compassion, peace, and harmony, creativity, and so much more. So just repeat, so hum, namaha. We're just going to meditate together for a few minutes. The repetition of your mantra is silent, easy, gentle, effortless, without moving your lips or your tongue. If your mind wanders to other thoughts, that definitely can occur. The moment you notice your mind drifts off, just come back to your mantra. If you get distracted by a noise in the environment or an emotion comes up, treat these like you would a thought. Almost as if you're meditating, I mean, almost as if you're listening to your mantra being said. To shift your attention as if you're listening to so hum namaha. We'll meditate for two more minutes. I'll keep track of the time, so just enjoy. Keeping your eyes softly closed, stop the repetition of your mantra. Always take a moment to settle in the stillness and the silence before opening your eyes and moving back into activity. And then you could do a little full body extension, reaching over to the right or the left, back a little bit, bring your palms together, hands to heart. Maybe you can feel a little bit more calm, relaxed, but yet 
vibrant, energetic, and alive, a beautiful combination. Let's bring our fingertips toward our forehead, acknowledging your beautiful body, mind, and spirit, hands to heart. Namaste.